Okay, let's try this one more time, shall we? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, you know about my computer. Wow, 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 the whole whiny story. I cannot stand coming on here and whining. I hate watching it, and I hate doing it. Yesterday, my Big Crapper video was supposed to be uploaded. I told you guys all that it would be uploaded this weekend. Um, I saw a lot of you have left comments about it. I wasn't feeling very good. I thought, eh, I'll, you know, I'll reply to all of them when I'm feeling a little bit better. Uh, I had some seeds soaking in water that had sprouted in the water, so I had to get them out yesterday. I went up to Costco, did some necessary shopping, you know, feminine things. I come home. I go out to plant them seeds. I'm bent around the flagpole. I'm holding on to the flagpole. we got a flagpole out there that I plant flowers around. I'm holding on to it, sticking them seeds in the ground. And the next thing you know, I wake up and my husband is like, Honey, honey, are you okay? Uh, I have severe allergies. But it has been so bad that like when we get a rain around here, the, the puddles of water... You know, the standing water has that yellow fluorescent looking stuff on top of it. A lot of pollen in the air. Well, apparently it has been settling in my head or something. And it has created a problem in my, the tubes behind your ears. Got it. I can feel it. Feels kind of like I got punched in the face or something underneath my eyes right here. Just feels weird as hell. And I swear if I didn't know any better, I would think, you know, I'd be calling my doctor saying, man, something's wrong. I got you know something horrible but that's all it was but apparently when your sinuses and all that shit gets all messed up man it can cause some pretty serious damage and that was the reason for my dizziness and nausea and just kind of you know equilibrium's been off and I had no idea no idea now I know they gave me some hardcore antibiotics that make me ooh, it is horribly sick but it eh, you know now I feel really good today so well, here's my video. So I'm, God, I, I'm so tired. I was saying I'm sorry, but I am. I'm, I really am sorry. So back on track now. Uh, I've got my computer all set up. I even got a new camera. Pretty excited about my new camera, but I haven't, you know, I haven't done anything but set, set it up. I haven't hooked it up yet or anything like that. So here is my crapper video. I wanted to show you guys all things. These are all products that wherever I may have gotten them, and you've probably seen a few of these. I'm sure you have. Maybe seen them in a haul or something. But I would advise against wasting your money on these items, okay? Without being too harsh, uh, all of this stuff really sucks bad. And... You know, I've got a pretty long history in cosmetics and skin care, and I have given all of these things a legitimate try. I mean, really, I have a legitimate try. Okay, so, so first things first, this Pacifica, um, Pacifica brand cream compact, this is for uh, highlight, blusher, or whatever, and then this is kind of a bronzer contour, I suppose. You guys saw me haul this. Now, I got, at the same time, I got the eyeshadows. And the eyeshadows are lovely. Just lovely. I've seen a lot of you gals getting a, a little single in your Ipsy bags this month, or last month. And I, every time I watched one of those videos, I thought, oh, you're going to love it. Or at least, I love these ones. I don't know if what you guys got in those bags are the same as what I have here. But they're just gorgeous. I myself reaching for those very often. However... This cream palette that I grabbed, at the same time that I grabbed this, they were both $11.99, 12 bucks a piece. When I first got this and opened it up, I was pretty excited because most of you know that I love cream products. I love working with them. I just, I like, I actually like the extra effort that they take, you know. That's just, I think it's all part of being a, in the profession that I'm in. I don't care, you know, any extra step that I have to take for my makeup, I'm okay with. It's just more of more of me being able to do what I love to do. You know what I mean? So, I was happy about this. I was excited to get it. Uh, the colors I discovered pretty quickly were not going to work on me. This is the white one. Well, I, yeah, yeah, you can see it. Okay, this is the white one right here. This is the pink one that's in the middle. And this is the brown one. Or, or should I say orange? Because that's what it is. It's just straight up orange. I don't know who this could possibly work on. Can you see that? It's just awful. And greasy, 
you put these things on your face and you feel like you just scooped out a chunk of Crisco and put it on your face. And I, I feel like they never really set up. This pink in the middle is, uh, you know that iridescent shade that is in the, uh, in the IT Cosmetics palette that makes everything a little bit iridescent, pearly? That's what that looks like. I don't know if you can see that there. But it's, um, it's really nothing that belongs on a 46-year-old cheek. <laughs> really. Nothing. And then the white one is just kind of a white. This one is actually quite pretty. But again, on the skin, it feels just like, you know, you scoop some Crisco out of a... And it never really sets up. It's, they're just awful. And I was really depressed. Well, not depressed. I was really disappointed with this, too, because, you know, like I said, I really like cream products. Not only are the colors way off, but... And they don't set up on your cheeks. But they seem to be setting up in the pan. I have only had this for, what has it been, a month, a month and a half? And when I go to use it, or when I go to touch it, or try to use it on one of my kids or something, it's all stiff and hard. And I've got to literally take a razor blade or a knife and scrape the top layer off. So it is drying up, basically, is what's happening. And you can see around the edges, you can see the gap around the edges, uh, it's drying up. It's shrinking up in the pan. Now, you wouldn't be able to use that much product for a very long time. If I did use it, they should not be drying up after a month. I mean, yeah, this was just a bad buy. A bad buy all the way around. I'm glad it was only 12 bucks. but if you guys see this in your Target or wherever else they might sell Pacifica, this was a... Uh, you know, a fluke that I found this that day, and I haven't seen them there since. So I don't know where else you might be able to get this brand. I have looked online a little bit, and this is the only eyeshadow palette I've been able to find. Because I've been looking for some more of these. I really like the shadows. But this cream uh, product, whatever it is, it's uh, Natural Minerals Coconut Multiples is what it says on it. And yeah, this did not work for me at all. I believe it might have been... No, it wasn't in that haul, but in the same place, Target. Uh, when I did my Target haul the other day, and I showed you these Pixie uh, lip stains that I got. Oh my God, you guys, these are terrible. Terrible. Okay, this one here is supposed to be coral. All right, I hope the color is coming off okay. The sun's pretty bright out there. Now, this one in my e.l.f. Uh, lip stain is coral as well. I have had this for I don't even know how long. I very rarely wear this color, you know. But when I do, I it, when I do wear a lipstick like this, I'll put this on underneath and then I'll put the lipstick on top. Not only is the color bizarre on this pencil or on this thing, but they've got this bizarre or they've got this weird chemical-y. It's almost like vanilla with the chemical undertone and it stays in your mouth and lingers and lingers and it will make everything that you put through your lips drink water food anything will taste like that weird chemical it it's just awful awful <laughs> that's the color and I hope it's coming off like it is in real life it's just terrible it's it's a terrible color you guys um, this is what I would more expect it to be, you know, this is corally, this is more like a, gosh, I don't, I don't even know, but it's, you know, the elf one, this is the color that I was hoping this would be, okay, now the elf one is already set up, it's set up, it ain't going nowhere, it's dry, this one, the pixie one, is still tacky, um, I can move it, and if you're, you know, if this is on your lips and you're eating and drinking on it, you, you can't have that with the lip stain. That's the whole point. That's the only reason why I get these kind of products is because you guys know when I, when, you know, when it comes to lipstick, I don't need something that's going to last me all day. I don't like wearing it that long, but I do like a tint. And so every once in a while, I will get these little lip stains like this just because no matter what I'm doing, my lips have just a little bit of a color and it's not tacky, it's not goopy or anything like that. You know, it's kind of like a magic marker for your lips. Well, these are just horrible. I, I'm, I don't really know how to explain how much I don't like these. <laughs> uh, this one here is supposed to be a uh, kind of a lilac mauve color. Okay. Um, the color is called number six and it's luck. 
on your lips, it looks like you have been kissing somebody's unwiped butt. I mean, it is just brown. It's just poop brown is all it is. And it's just awful. This one here is supposed to be kind of a hot pink. And I didn't get this one for myself. Even. I got it for, you know, clients. Um, and this one hardly even comes. But all, all three of them are kind of dry. I get more product out of this one than I do out of any of these. And this one's probably a year or more old. And this these ones are brand new. Brand new. Haven't even used them. So I think these are just a terrible, terrible product. And that is also disappointing because I actually like Pixie products. Um, they, they are the drugstore line of Pot Beauty. Um, Pot Beauty is the upper end that's in Ulta and stuff. I don't know if, um, if it's in Sephora or not, but they're in Ulta. And Pixie is the mother company, I guess, or Pop Beauty is the mother company of Pixie. And they put out a drugstore brand, you know. And even in drugstore, it's kind of a little higher end. But, yeah, these are just really terrible, you guys. Don't even bother. They're just terrible. Okay, when I did my Maleficent um, thing the other day, and I did not film that, but I will if, if enough of you ask for it. I've had a few of you ask for it. Uh, it didn't really take me that long. But what I put on my face to pale myself out like that screwed my face up so bad. And that was Glamouflage. <laughs> I know that this is a lot of people's holy grail. And I have seen videos where this was pretty miraculous stuff. And if it works for you, more power to you. I mean, I would love to have $6 invested in something that I could literally spend, you know, take... Uh, this much and spread it all over my whole face and get a whole face of foundation out of it. And that's, and I am dead serious. This stuff is incredible. I mean, it will just spread out and cover, look at it, it's covering all that lipstick. It'll just cover, spread out and cover everything. I mean, it, I didn't even have to use very much to pale my face all out. But this stuff broke me out so bad. I have got I've got a big breakout right there, a big cluster. Uh, I've got them on my cheek right here. I've got them right there. I mean, just, it broke me out so bad. So, if you guys use this and it works for you, more power to you. I'm glad for it. And I've got very oily skin. And this is pretty, you know, pretty emollient product. Now, so is my Bye Bye Under Eye, but I only use that under my eyes, so, you know. But yeah, this is just kind of terrible. It's settled in all my lines. I just can't really see anybody my age using this product. But I have seen videos of people doing it, so more power to you if you can, because this tube right here would last you a lifetime. <laughs> but I did not like it at all. Okay, TJ Maxx. You know, you always find little odds and end things there. I showed you these two things in a haul, I think, in some of my first videos. And I've been working with them and trying to use them since, and they are just both complete busts. Now, the 40 Carats line, I really like this line. They have a wonderful uh, vitamin C serum. They have really good hand creams, moisturizers, and carrot seed is super, super good for you. But it's all chuck full of all that good goodness that's in the 40 Carat brand, you know. If you guys aren't aware of what that is, you can do a Google on, you know, and look it up. But it's a very good line of skin care and stuff like that. And I really like a lot of their things. But this was a beauty balm, a BB cream that I found out at TJ Maxx. And it's in light, medium. And when I popped it open and put it on my hand, I, I thought, oh yeah, that's, you know, that's my color. Of course, this was in the winter time. But I thought, oh yeah, that's my color. Oh my gosh you guys it the color is actually quite good for me and it has zero smell whatsoever but this stuff looks more mask like and I used the tiniest amount I really really tried to get this stuff to work for me and it just looks like a mask it doesn't matter how much I use how little I use what I do with it it doesn't matter if I shear it out to where you know what's the point of wearing it you sheared it out so much, there's no point. It just looks awful. Absolutely terrible. Of all the things that I have tried of the 40 Carats brand, this one is a complete bust. Do not waste your money. If you happen to see this down at TJ Maxx or anywhere else, don't waste your money on the 40 Carats BB Cream because it's pretty awful. Okay, again, at TJ Maxx, if you guys happen to see these there, 
um, they are the Intensive Eye Anti-Wrinkle Eye Pads. Okay, and they are meant to be, uh, you know, eye makeup removers. And they have, they, I think these were like, yeah, these are $3 for a little container. And of course, me, I'm overboard on everything, and I grab all of them off the shelf, like three of them, thankfully. Instead of just getting one, I figured, you know, it's always my luck, I'll get the one. I will love it. I'll go back the next day and they'll be gone. And so for three bucks a piece, I figured, yeah, I'll just get them all. These suck so bad, you guys. So bad. Not only are they practically dry, but they do not take your makeup on your eyes off at all. They don't even take the freaking eyeshadow off, much less any mascara. And I don't even need I don't even need um waterproof stuff. I don't wear waterproof anything, but these are awful. If you guys see these down at your TJ Maxx, again, they are the Intensive Eye Intensive Eye um, Anti-Wrinkle Eye Pads in a tan container with the purple lid. Pass them up because they blow. They are a complete joke. Okay. You guys have seen this stuff on TV. The Tag Away. Okay. I have that mole that I showed you guys in a video a while back. I was doing a tutorial and I told you I've been using this tag away on it. I've got a few of these little skin tags too. The older I get, the more I get. And usually in areas that my skin rubs together, like I've got a little bitty one right here under my arm. Well, on, or I've been using this stuff on them suckers for months. And it makes them kind of crusty and scabby. And then the crusty scab falls off, but the little tag is still there. So, what the hell this stuff is supposed to be doing, I don't know, but I'm ready to do it in the olden days and take one of my strands of hair. Back in the day, that's what they did. They would take one strand of hair and put it around a skin tag or a mole or whatever they didn't want, and they'd take that strand of hair and tie it really tight, just not break it, but tie it tight enough to cut the circulation off, kind of. And then they'd tie it around a couple times, and they'd leave it there until the circulation, you know, until the lack of circulation killed it, and it fell off. That's what they did back in the olden days. And this stuff actually sucks really bad. It smells just like Melaleuca oil, to, like tea tree. Um, I could have used tea tree on myself for all I paid for this, which was 15 bucks, I think. Um, so yeah, does this thing really work on TV? The tag away? It does not. It does not work for me. Maybe I've got super resilient tags that don't want to leave my body, but this sucks butt. Bad. Okay, I saw somebody the other day here on YouTube talking about this, and I thought, oh my god, that is so old school, and you actually use that? And she just raved about it. And I thought, well, maybe there's a reason why it's around all after all this time it's still on the shelves and so I seen it at Walmart the other day and I picked it up it's the Cody air spun um, it's a setting powder a loose face powder is all it says Cody air spun loose face powder and I got mine in translucent extra coverage and I didn't get it for any kind of coverage uh, it, just to set you know as a setting powder <laughs> uh, the smell I could not get past the smell enough to see if it worked or not. It's very, very finely milled. Um, as far as powders go, it's a it feels and you know it appears to be a gorgeous powder. But the smell right out of Grandma's attic, overpowering. Ah, uh, uh, God. I mean, it's not even a bad smell. It's just so strong and you know absolutely is going to take you back to the day of. Um, you know, in Grandma's, oh yeah, it just smells, <laughs> strong smell from, you know, your youth, literally. If you had anybody that was into makeup in your life anyways, which I did, very much so. So, yeah. I mean, you can see the, you know, just putting, taking a little bit on my hand and rubbing it into the back of my hand. You can see the coverage it's given. I mean, it's, the coverage is really good. I, I gotta say, the coverage is great, but the smell is just, oh my gosh, it's so overpowering. Okay, and then, uh, let me see. I was loving my Mally Shadow Sticks so much. I thought, um, and I actually do have like 
eight or nine coming from eBay that I found. I only got them. I only paid ten bucks a piece for them on eBay. Where on the website they're like twenty five bucks a piece, so I got a good deal. But in the meantime, I was impatient and I went down hunting around for shadow sticks. Now I already had the two scandal eyes, and I gotta say, after getting this one, I had never even tried these. After getting this one, I thought, well, I got a couple sticks in there. And I got the two scandal eyes. They're quite nice. I like both of them, and I have been using them. I've got the champagne scandal eyes on my lids today. Um, but these are very nice, very nice shadow sticks. Now, they're not as nice as Mally's, okay? But they're pretty nice. Um, I had a few left over from, I don't know, even know where I got these. And I don't know... I think these are Beauty Concept is what the BC stands for. I think I got these at TJ Maxx a long time ago. They are awful. Awful, you guys. Do not pick these up if you happen to see them at TJ Maxx. They will come in a whole set. I think I threw the other ones. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. They will come in a whole box. See? Just like that. Um, and they're terrible, okay? This is just the one, and it never really sets up. They're just... They're just awful. So if you happen to see these anywhere, do not get them. They're... No. No, no, no. Anyways, I was at CVS, and I ran into CoverGirl's... Um, CoverGirl's sticks. And what are these called? The Flamed Out Shadow Sticks? Yes, they're called the Flamed Out Shadow Pencil. And the colors are gorgeous, you guys. Just absolutely beautiful. I had, I had seen these before, I just had never been into pencils, so I didn't even grab them, you know. But after Mally, you know, the Mally sticks just got me all high strung on pencils. So I grabbed four of these Revlon color, or these Revlon flamed outs. And the color on these are so gorgeous, you guys. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. But man, they do not blend out well. And, and I don't mean in compared to Mally's either. I mean in general. I, at least not for 46-year-old eyes. They just did not blend out well. So I'm probably going to take these back because these weren't cheap. They were like 7 bucks a piece. But look at those beautiful colors. Aren't they gorgeous? Now with your finger, you can blend them out great. You know? But I don't want to have to blend it out with my finger. With my eyelids, I want to be able to use a nice soft brush and just move it around a little bit where I want it. You know, I don't want to have to use a finger on my eyelids, and you have to use a finger with these. At least I do. So these I found to be a complete waste of money for an older eyelid. Um, and so, yeah, do not get these if you guys like the pencils. Or maybe if maybe you didn't have that problem with them. I don't know, but they did not work for me at all. So, I did have a few more things, but this video is getting so long. I love you all so much. Thank you for sticking with me. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it when I go MIA for a week and then say, Oh, well, I'm back. There'll be a video up tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. And then I go MIA again. I, I don't know what else to say besides I'm so sorry, you guys. Thank you for sticking with me. Now I am going to hang it up and figure out this camera and respond to some comments because I see they're built up while I was piled up on my couch with my freaking ears killing me so I am going to respond to some of your comments and I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so so much. Bye bye.